with Kathy by Design and it's Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday is a little series I've been doing for a little over a year now uh, where I dig back into my stash of older, really beautiful papers and I create something new and fresh with it. This is designed to encourage us to dig into the stuff we already have and honestly, this is a great time to do that because I don't know if y'all have noticed it, but the supply chain is kind of messed up and things that I ordered months and months ago still haven't come in. So I've been using the time. I've been doing some tidying and purging in the studio. I'll be having a de-stash sale soon and I'll be sure to let you know about that. But as I was cleaning over the weekend, I ran into my stash of Kaisercraft papers. And I had a major paper crush on Kaisercraft about three years ago. So this is the Miss Betty collection. I was trying to see a year on here when this was made. And uh, they, didn't, they didn't put that on there. But anyway, I loved it. I love, I love anything with a vintage sewing theme. So I purchased the six and a half by six and a half inch pad, which I love that they do that. Um, that it's a little bit bigger than the standard six by six. And then I also picked up a few pieces of the 12 by 12 and I grabbed an ephemera pack because I just, I love ephemera. And I decided it would be really fun to put together this little vintage sewing themed card that focuses a lot on collage and depth and, dim depth and dimension. So as you can see, I've raised different layers up with foam tape. And what this does in a composition is it kind of um, makes it more interesting. If this was all flat, like if you could have seen it when I was laying out the card to determine the design, it didn't look nearly as great as it does right now. But you start lifting things up on foam tape, you create heights and depths, and it kind of makes everything move and come alive. So these are little birdie flowers. I've clustered these together with some organza ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon, and there's these cute little sewing theme charms tucked into the bow cluster. Another bow cluster up here. I thought this pink and brown was so pretty with this vintage look. And then these are just all ephemera bits that I tucked in with foam tape matted this on a little scrap of teal card stock to make it pop a little bit, sanded the edges to give it a um, distressed look, then added a little vintage sewing machine charm here, a little wooden thimble, these sweet little scissor charms, and a bit of lace from Rene Bouquet's just to give it that really true vintage sewing feel. And I also liked the way the white sort of brightened up the entire composition. Machine stitching around the edges of this one panel. This is a six by six top fold card, so real basic card base, nothing fancy there. And then I just decorated up the inside, added a little pocket with a little tea wallet. If you wanted, instead of a tea wallet, you could put a button card in here, which would be really sweet. Um, but I just did tea. And that's basically the project. This is a punch out from the six and a half by six and a half inch pad. And I just sanded the edges and tucked it underneath between these two panels when I sewed. So it creates that really interesting shaped edge on the left. So that's the project. Hang around. We're going to put the cover together because the inside is so basic. And I know y'all don't have a whole lot of time to spend watching videos, so I'm trying to condense them and keep them shorter. So hang around, the tutorial is coming up next. All right, so let's get started putting this card front together. As you can see, I've got a six by six square of the blue stitches paper. And then I stitched over that on my machine. This is, I believe, five and a half by five and a half yes, of this kind of collage paper. That's from the 12 by 12. And then this was in the six by six pack and I just tucked this under and stitched it in. I did sand a little bit along the edges just to create that sort of distressed edge. So now we're gonna begin to layer. And I had this piece left over after I cut my um, card base. So I went ahead and trimmed this out I just added some scraps to the sides and bottom, then put this cut apart piece on there and these flowers. So this is going to go 
on this right hand side of the card where we have all this blank white space and I'm going to center it so that it doesn't cover the stitching kind of like that and this is from the ephemera pack and I just glued those on at an angle we get this straight straight is always good all right there we go so there's that then this piece is also from a cut apart and um, I want this to go over here toward the left and then I have this little bit of lace right here this is Renee Bouquet's and I kind of loved the texture that this added so what I'm going to do is put a little hot glue on the back where the pearls would go and then I'm going to lay this right here along the edge and this is just a little scrap I had left over from another project but so this piece is from the cut apart page that has all the doilies and stuff and I just loosely cut around it and then inked it and I've backed it with some foam tape because I one of the things because we're focusing on creating lots of depth and dimension in a card so one of the things that does that is creating different heights so this is going to go right here like that and then I have this little tag when I should have done that before but we can lift this and I think we'll be all right it hasn't been down there long enough to really catch this is going to go right in here and what we're doing is we're picking up the pattern here, the pattern here, the pattern here. And it just creates a really, even though you have a lot going on, it doesn't look disjointed. So then I have this little pink doily. And this is from the ephemera pack. And I want to put this, and again, I'm going to have to lift this, but I think we're going to be okay. Like that. Just like that. Okay. Then if you look, there's a cut apart page that has this little, it's in the six by six. So I just kind of took this guy and I want to put it right about here. I matted this on a little scrap of teal cardstock. And then I took this little image and fussy cut it and I've backed this with some foam tape again because we're creating layers and dimension and this is going to go like this and then if you look in your ephemera pack you have the same spools and they're the same size so now what you can do is put another layer of foam on these and put them right over the top and that creates yet another layer just like this see how good that looks all right I want to add these little scissor charms right here So let's tuck this so that this pink doily just peeks out. And we're going to need some foam tape on the bottom edge. To level it. And then some adhesive along here. go. So then I have this sweet little wooden thimble 
and I put some hot glue on the back of it and I'm just gonna thread it right in between so that it kind of ties all these little pieces together. So I'm just gonna set this right here like that. You can see I clustered my rosebuds together and this pale pink going in that direction. I'm just going to push those petals up and this darker pink right here. I want to take this little rosebud and tuck it in here like that. I think what I'll do is I'll just um, so what I did is I just pulled this bottom layer off and I'm going to tuck this smaller piece in there because it's the size that I want. There, that looks really good. Now I've got a bow here. I folded the tails back. I'm gonna use my scissor. To tuck that in place. And while that glue is setting, you can come in and do what I call fussing the bow, which is making the loops go the directions that you want them to go and the tails to go where you want them to go. Okay, I've got these little charms, a little button and a little spool of thread. And I wanna put a little glue on top of this knot and tuck these in there so that they'll come peeking out of the out of the bow which is pretty all right so now we can um, add our string bow ahead and fuss the tails there we go I'm gonna pull these down just a little so they can be seen a little better but they're still attached in there all right one of the best pieces of advice I ever got in a class that I took online was stop and look at what you've got and kind of go, do I, do I really need to add anything else? And I'm actually feeling on this like I don't. I'm feeling like I had another bow that I thought about tucking in. Well, actually, that's kind of pretty. in this corner just to kind of balance things out. Right there. And then our string bow on top of it. Yeah, that's pretty. That kind of just frames it. So that was a good decision. It's always good when you make a good decision. And then on top of that, I think I just want to put a little pink blossom like that. And once that glue has set, I'll fuss that bow a little bit more. And I think this is good, guys. There's our finished card. Now, if you wanted to come in with some uh, sequins to add a bit of sparkle, 
but I, I really love the way this turned out. It's real pretty. So now we're going to bring in our card base. I always do this last because this way um, my card doesn't get messed up. I always double check to make sure I'm right side up. And now we just have to glue this on the card and we are done. Done and dusted. Another Throwback Thursday in the can so thank you guys for joining me and i also appreciated all your wonderful comments last week and i do think it made a little bit of a difference i think i've had a little bit more traffic to my um channel so i'm very encouraged by that and i thank you for taking the time to do that i notice i have some new instagram followers i have a few new subscribers on my blog so thank you guys that really I really, really appreciate that. You guys are just the most gracious, thoughtful people. I I love sharing with you all here. So there we go. Throwback Thursday, Kaiser Craft Miss Betty, a little vintage sewing themed card. Makes a great little gift, great little uh, decoration piece for your studio. All right, guys, I'm going to go get my craft on. Talk to you soon. Bye.